That was too. <laughs> Hello, I'm Derek Coleman. I go back to five-year-old Derek Coleman. I tell him, keep keep having fun. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. And just do you. So I lost my hearing when I was about three years old. Got diagnosed with bilateral hearing loss, which is a profound hearing loss in both of my ears. You have to have the support system. My parents knew that they needed to be that, even though they they can comprehend, my mom's the nurse, my dad's the engineer, they can kind of comprehend how to like fix the problem, but how do they don't really know what's going on in my head. So their best way of doing this is like, hey, I understand you have a problem, but everybody in this world has a problem. So what are we gonna do to overcome that so you be able to succeed in whatever you do? One of the biggest things when I was growing up, I always said, I gotta be me to the best that I possibly can be. And the best way to do that is to speak from the heart. You are that who I want you to be. And that's something that I always teach because I see it time and time again. When I see kids like, oh, how do I be just like you? How do I do that? And I tell them, I tell them every time, just do what you do best. <laughs> so when I go in and talk to kids and let them know, I'm just, just like them. I was in your seat, I was struggling mentally, I was struggling physically, trying to figure out who I am as a person. But eventually, with all the hard work, dedication, and support that I had, I ended up succeeding that. I appreciate you. One thing I learned throughout this life is when you really, really want to get something done, you're gonna find a way, one way or another. It wasn't difficult. I think the hardest part was really was just trying to find a way to keep my sweat out of my hair and neck. But once I was out on the field, once that was set, we got the helmet, everything fit. I felt like I was a football player. I felt like I belonged on the field because that was the only thing that was holding me back from being out there. Before the first practice, we let everybody know, hey, my name is Derek Coleman. I have heart of, I'm hard of hearing. I wear hearing aids, and, but I also lip raise, so as long as you look at me when you're talking to the players, if I can see you, we're good to go. I didn't feel like I was different. I didn't feel like I was something special or something not special. I just felt like I was me being able to go out and play something and have fun doing it. The throw, he dumps off a little pass wide open. It's caught! Derek Coleman! Who in this building was going to look for Derek Coleman out of the backfield? One thing I loved about football was that when I stepped in the building, when I stepped on the field, nothing else in the world mattered. Nobody cared if you're broke, nobody cared what skin color you are, if you got ADD, anxiety, hearing loss, wear glasses. They don't care about none of that. They care about can we succeed and can we win with you. So I got done in 2019 in Arizona. At the time of that, I, my, I still felt good. I still felt like I had a lot in the tank. But just the way that everything was shuffled, full bash, not exactly in everybody's system. So, kind of went home. I stayed prepared. I stayed ready in case I got another call. I knew who I was at Derek Coleman, the football player. Now I need to find out who Derek Coleman outside of football. This is what I like to do. I like to help people. I want to see them enjoy their journey to get to the destination. They get to the destination, great. If they don't, how do we keep, you know, how do we change that? I, that's the part that I like. That being me, that's where I get my joy from. That's what lights me on fire. An opportunity came up in Green Bay to become assistant to the player engagement. First thing I did was say, uh, I'm not sure about that. But then I started reading, this is the job made for me. It's a blessing just to be able to be around the guys, to be able to be in the stadium. It does it bring up old feelings like, oh man, I still got it, I can keep playing, absolutely. But at the same time though, um, I know that there's more for me than just playing. It, you know, it's helping the guys now, that are here now, uh, get to where they want to be. To be able to do that, that puts me on fire more than playing there. You know, uh, more than one in the Super Bowl. Seeing these guys get to the Super Bowl, that'd be better than anything I've ever done because that's ultimately what I did. 
whether it's hard of hearing, you're deaf, you have any sort of disability, or you're just an, a football player, what can I do to help you?